Welcome to The Global Pulse, a short video series where our experts break down a trending topic in international business and why it matters to you. Turkish Lira lost more than 45% of its value against the dollar this year, and this is by far the biggest depreciation in emerging markets in 2021. In the beginning of this year, uh, January 2021, the exchange rate was about 7.4 lira per uh, dollar. However, currently, lira is trading at a rate of 13.7 Turkish lira per one US dollar. In November alone, Turkish lira lost more than 30% of its value. And this is one of the most severe currency crises the country is facing uh, in the past several decades. So what's going on? What is the reason for free fall of Turkish lira? Turkish economy has some severe chronic problems. It has a high current account deficit. It's very dependent on external financing and foreign funds to grow. It's battling high inflation rates, which is close to 20% according to official figures. And these factors make the country and the currency fragile to sudden stops in capital inflows. However, the most recent troubles of Turkish lira were triggered recently by some very specific events. On November 18th, the Turkey's central bank cut interest rates by a full percentage point to 15%, sending Turkish lira to record lows. This is the third cut since September, and central bank signaled that it would slash rates again in December. When a central bank lowers interest rates, money generally becomes less expensive to borrow and therefore less valuable relative to other currencies. To make things worse, these rate cuts come at a time where most countries around the world are tightening their monetary policy, cutting back stimulus, and raising rates. Given the official inflation figure of 20%, the policy rate of 15% translates into a real rate of roughly negative 5%. So why is the central bank then cutting interest rates when inflation is so high? This is due to the unorthodox economic policies favored by President Erdogan. Generally speaking, low rates encourage economic growth, and President Erdogan prefers economic growth over stability of Turkish lira. He has long been a strong proponent of low interest rates, and some commentators believe that his support for low rates is driven by his religious beliefs. Contrary to existing economic theories, he believes that High interest rates cause high inflation, and not the other way around. Hence, he wants the borrowing costs to go down and down. The past three central bank governors were sacked for contradicting his monetary policy views and not lowering the rates as he desired. The country is currently on its fourth monetary chief since 2018. Turkey is demonstrating to the whole world the dire consequences of not having an independent central bank. Unfortunately, this has been a very expensive experiment for the country, and to be able to defend the free-falling Turkish lira under these unusual economic policies and low rates, authorities have depleted the central bank's foreign currency reserves, selling more than $165 billion since 2018. Now, the Turkish residents and businesses are paying a big price tag for this expensive experiment. They're getting poorer every day as Turkish lira loses its value. Turkey's economy is very dependent on external financing, which means the businesses that took out debts denominated in dollars are now facing steeper repayment costs as lira loses value. Now, a major concern for the rest of the world, and particularly for the creditors of those businesses, is the potential defaults by Turkish businesses on those debt payments. 